Hi, welcome back to another Terranscapes video. Uh, this video, really brief, is a product review for a ruler. You may ask yourselves, how special can a ruler be that it requires a product review? But I have uh, got a, uh, a suggestion from a friend when I was doing um, the board edges actually for the modular boards and talking about how I wanted to measure them precisely and you know me. and. Um, he uh, sent me a link, and this is a uh, site, Incra, I think it's Incra Tools. I'll put a link in the description. And they sell high-precision equipment, including rulers. And this is the best ruler I've ever seen, and I had to buy it right away. So, before uh, things get too long here, let's take a look at it, and I'll show you why it's special. So this is the ruler. Um, it is uh, 18 inches long. And the only thing this ruler is missing is metric. Um, but quite frankly, the way they've designed it, there's no room actually to add metric to this. Uh, the ruler is, um, first, it is flexible. That is one of the things that they were uh, marketing it as. So you could bend it around a corner, although I'm always afraid to do too much bending. But it's actually quite resistant um, to warping. It is, um, of course, metal. Um, now, even though it has, oh, let's see here. There we go. Even though it looks like the edges are not um, perfectly straight, in fact, that they are. And um, the first thing you can notice is that there are gobs and gobs of holes in this ruler. Um, the ruler is designed to allow you to mark exactly through the ruler so that you have a precise mark on any spot that you want um, at any measurement uh, up to 1 32nd of an inch. So um, I'm going to see if I can do a real close-up and I'll show you um, a little bit of that marking. So this gives you um, a little bit better look at the ruler itself. And you can see, um, of course, um, these are measurements in up to 30 seconds. And um, here we have uh, uh, oh, 30 seconds again, but notice it's on a line. Um, these are 16th, and again, we have 30 seconds down here. Now, these holes are designed to allow you to make a mark. Um, now, this is a 0.5 millimeter pencil. I actually bought the pencil that they sell. It was like, I don't know, two bucks or something maybe, uh, but you could use any 0.5 uh, lead with this. And so if you wanted to mark uh, three inches on the line, you just go right through the hole and you get a perfect mark. If you wanted to measure, um, you know, whatever, uh, you know, a, a, a nine sixteenths, of course, you could do that. But also they have the little um, holes down here. So if you wanted uh, 24, 25, 30 seconds of an inch, you can make a mark like that and you get a perfect mark on your paper. So I don't think you could ask for a more precise ruler than this. Um, and what a wonderful ability to ensure that you're getting a perfect mark every time. One last feature that the ruler has is that it actually has a cut in this end so that when you line it up to a previous mark you've made, you can be sure that it's exactly on the line. Um, sometimes you might be off, you know, by the thickness of the lead, you know, and you might be trying to judge exactly um, how thick it should be. And here you could take your previous mark boom, line it right up there and you know it's exactly uh, flush with the edge and you get a perfect measurement every time. Um, this is the 18-inch um, 18 inch, 18 inch version, uh, which I might have mentioned already. Um, they do have other sizes, a 12-inch and I believe a 24-inch ruler as well. So uh, maybe a crazy review, don't know, but it was the most unique ruler I've ever seen, and I feel like it gives me the precision that I want. Um, be great if they made one in a metric uh, uh, version, but um, I don't believe they have one on the site. Maybe I'll email them. Um, in any case, I have forgotten off the top of my head what the price is of this ruler, so I will put it right here. And um, they have a variety of other precise measurement tools, but most of them are designed to mount to things like a table saw or a routing table or something similar to that. So uh, they don't have a lot of other options uh, for the sort of do-it-yourself crafter unless you have a lot of bigger equipment, but you might find something there that you like. Um, and it is uh, magnetic, so I put a little magnet on the back and I can just uh, clip it, clip it, stick it 
uh, to the uh, workbench and it's always easy to grab. Um, anyway, hopefully you uh, f enjoyed this uh, brief look at a unique uh, review. And uh, I've never seen another review for a uh, ruler before. And oh, um, people are gonna ask me, um, because I get a variety of questions, what lens I was using in the last video. Um, that was the um, Canon uh, 70 to 200 zoom lens. Oh gosh, I think it's a 5.6. Um, it's sort of like the low end standard Canon uh, zoom. And I thought it might be uh, nicer because it would give me a little more bokeh, you know, uh, a little more, you know, where it sort of softens the back. Uh, but um, man, that focusing is a real problem. And I don't think it actually makes that big of an improvement. So um, this uh, lens that I'm using now, because somebody might ask, is the um, 18 to 55 uh, Canon lens that comes standard with the T5i. Um, so it's a low end lens, but it's quite nice. And it's an STM. So when it focuses, it's silent. Um, now, of course, because I'm mic'd, you wouldn't hear it in any case, but if you're interested in a T5i and a lens, and you're not gonna have an external mic, it's not a bad thing to consider. So, cameras, rulers, terrain, when's that gonna happen? Um, in an upcoming video. I've got plenty more videos to shoot. That list over there is not getting small very quickly. Um, so I'm gonna try and uh, chip away at them as regularly as I can. And uh, thank you once again to all my viewers. Thank you once again to all my new subscribers. I welcome you and I hope you find something here that you can be uh, find useful. And uh, I always appreciate the feedback and comments that I get. Um, comments, feel free to leave them down below. And I always try to answer questions if I can. So uh, thank you once again for joining me. And I'll see you again in another Terrence Gapes video.